Hello guys, welcome back to Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. In today's video, we are going to talk about the latest updates concerning Ghanaian and Black Star players. But before we jump into it, please make sure to like this video, subscribe, and also turn on notification quickly. Let's jump into it. And I want to begin with a very quick update concerning one by Salisu, Ghana Black Star Center back, who currently plays for Monaco. Today, Monaco played a preseason game against Tangras. And Wame Salisu gave a very brilliant assist. Due to copyright reasons, I can't bring you the video right here, but I'm going to leave a link in the pinned comment where you can watch that particular video. But then I'm going to explain and give you a vivid description of how he gave that assist. He gave a very long pass that located the striker, and the striker just placed the ball in and the goal post, and that was a goal. It was just about two passes. And it was a goal. And I love it for Mohamed Salish because you see, last season he did not play a lot of games for Monaco due to injury. Now that he's fit and he's happy, it's just a matter of building confidence. And that is happening in the preseason games he's playing for Monaco. And we are happy for the player. We hope that come next season he is fit, he's full of confidence, and can perform well both for club and country, which is important for every single player. So, guys, this is the quick update concerning. Mohamed Sandishu. Moving away from him, let's talk about Thomas Pate. Thomas A. Pate. Thomas Pate, we all know there are a lot of rumors concerning his departure from Arsenal, but then Arsenal have made their decision concerning Thomas Pate, saying that they want him to stay, even if he leaves as a free agent come the end of next season. Now, Arsenal squad traveling to USA for preseason, the list is out. And if you check the list, Thomas Pate is in there, and a lot of Arsenal fans are happy because Thomas Pate's name is in there. Not only because of that, they also believe that Thomas Pate, if he stays fit next season, they believe Arsenal can really, really fight and compete for the EPL title. And not only that, they're also competing in UCL. They just need squad depth. But then Thomas Pate is not the only Ghanaian in this particular squad. There is also another Ghanaian called Charles Sebu Jr. He has also been added to Arsenal squad for the preseason in USA and also definitely Edin Kitcher is also in there. Even though there are rumors that he'll be leaving Arsenal to Marseille, his name is also in there. But then, guys, this is the latest update concerning Thomas Pate. Good news, he's part of Arsenal's team to USA for preseason. We are going to follow up on the preseason and bring you more updates live here on Sports Corner GH. Now, let's move away from Pate and talk about Alexander Jiku. Um, Justin Marino is not happy. Yes, Jose Mourinho is not happy. I'm going to explain to you. Now, before Jose Mourinho was appointed the coach of Fanabachi, Alexander Jukou was attracting interest from a lot of clubs. Napoli, Lazio, Sevilla. To the extent that even Lazio made an offer to Fanabachi concerning Alexander Jukou, but then the offer was rejected. After playing two games in preseason for Fanabachi, no, Jose Mourinho has fallen in love with the way Alexander Jukou plays his football. And has told Fanabachi that, see, I want to keep Alexander Jukou at all costs for next season. Only for Jose Moreno to hear that Stan Rene in the French Liga have come and approached Fanabachi concerning Alexander Jukou. And when they approached Fanabachi, Fanabachi was so receptive to the extent that they told them the conditions necessary to sign Alexander Jukou. Jose Moreno was not happy about it. Went back to Fanabachi and told them that, see, I really need a player to stay. So you need to tell every single thing interested in Alexander Jukou that he is not for sale. And as I'm talking to you now, Alexander Jukou is out and off the transfer market. He is not for sale. Alexander Jukou is staying because Jose Mourinho believes in the player and needs the player for next season. So all the teams now interested in Alexander Jukou just know that he's off the market. Stan Rene was the, was the latest team and they have been told that Alexander Jukou is not for sale. So guys, this is the latest update concerning Alexander Jukou. Now, let's move away from that and talk about Kamal Di Suleiman's younger brother. Now, those who followed the All-African Games would understand me when I say one of the most exciting players were the player with the Jason number 20. That is Kamal Di Suleiman's younger brother. And his name is called Abdul Hakim Suleiman. Now, when he was playing the All-African Games, he was also with Lyon's junior or youth team. Now, the latest update we are receiving is that he is set to join Danny's side Randis. Yes, he is set to join Danny's side Randis. Now, it's simple. 
this player believes that it is high time he goes to a team where he's going to get first team game time. Now, at Randers, he's been promised that when he comes, he's going to be part of the first team and also going to get a lot of game time. Because this player believes that looking at how he performed very well during the All-African Games, this is his opportunity to play very well for a team that will allow him, you know, his exposure to be there for everyone to see. And Randers are set to sign this player. Once this is made official, I'll make sure to bring you that update life on Sports Corner GH because it is very important to see that our young players are playing in very good league, very competitive league. They are getting the exposure, they are getting the hype. And Kamal Dinsule Mwane's brother is taking a step forward in that direction. And I'm happy for the player because at the All African Games, he was very, very enterprising. He was, he was dangerous. His 1v1, it was, he was quick. I just love it for him. And guys, I'm going to follow up on this player. I'll bring you more updates concerning him. Life on Sports Corner GH. Now, moving away from him, let's talk about a 19-year-old um, Ghanaian player who plays for Valencia. Now, his name is called Ali Fadal. Ali Fadal. Now, Ali Fadal impressed Valencia in their youth league. Played very well. He's a midfielder. He played a lot of games for them in their youth league. Impressed their coaches and everything. And they liked what they did. So, because of that, they want to promote him to the first team. Now, for those who watched the Copa de Rey last season, Ali Fadal made his debut for Valencia in one of Valencia's games in the Copa de Rey. He's a very young, talented midfielder who Valencia coaches believe in and they want to promote him to their first team. And I'm happy for young players like this because it just gives us the option to go in and pick players for the Black Stars and also for the junior national team. Seeing a 19-year-old play for Valencia in the top league is just good news in my own opinion. His name is called Ali Fadal. Ali Fadal. He's set to be promoted to Valencia's first team and midfielder. Did so well last season in the Ayuta League. Also made his debut in the Copa de Rio for Valencia and now he's set to join Valencia's first team. Now he's not the only one who is getting promotion. Now there's another Ghanaian player who is called Tofik Seidu. Tofik Seidu. Now Tofik Seidu was born here in Ghana, Accra, but then has a Spanish citizenship. Now, Tofik Seidu has been playing for Atletico de Madrid since he was nine years old. Playing through the youth side, rising through the ranks, playing so well. In fact, his development and improvement have been seen by all the coaches and they like the what the boy has been doing. In fact, last season, last season under coach Fernando Torres, our own Fernando Torres that we know, um, Tofik made his UEFA Under-19 Youth League debut at the age of 15 and did so well. And because of that, Fernando Torres has recommended him to the first team. And as I'm talking to you now, Tofik has been included to Atletico de Madrid's first team for preseason. Yes, he's a very young player, 16 years of age. Last season, when he turned 15, he played for Atletico de Madrid youth, uh, youth side. And Fernando Torres was impressed with the kind of maturity this boy has and has recommended him for the first team. So he's now part of Atletico de Madrid's first team for preseason. And I'm excited. A Ghanaian player born in Accra here, but then has a Spanish citizenship in Atletico Madrid's team for preseason. I'm really excited for this player. Yes, I'm really excited. And I'm, this one player I'm also going to follow very, very well because these young, young players, it is good that they are getting, you know, the opportunity to be part of the first team because they are going to learn, they are going to study. They are, if there is an opportunity and they impress, just like the way Kobe Maynard, I mean, just imagine, Kobe Maynard's life changed in just a span of eight months. Who knows? These players, they could be working in that same path. Tofik Seidu for Fadal, the same thing. So guys, this is the latest update I have for you concerning Ghanaian and Black Star players. And also their latest transfer updates. Let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comments. Thanks for joining me. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next one. Charlie, we go back.